Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief and tonight we are talking Irish whiskey. Now I've done a couple of videos on Speyside whiskey, Highland whiskey, Isla whiskies and I thought it's a good idea to bring in a little bit of the Irish whiskies. Now um, I went through all my reviews the last two and a half years and um, I looked at the ones that I really enjoyed. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of other whiskies available, whiskies that I've no, never even heard of, maybe whiskies that I've never even seen in the shop. I can only uh, describe, I can only taste what is available to me. So I go through the list. I have some bottles still left. Um, in the sh in the shelf, I did a little bit of a rearrangement. Went down to the basement, found some old dusty ones that I can't even remember what I had. Um, as you can see, they are still quite very dusty. I found one that I haven't even opened, and um, I thought I'm going to give it a try and twist it and realize it was still a, a closed bottle. I didn't mean to open it, but I was a little bit curious. So I'm going to start off um, with something that I really like, and that was the Teeling's Wonders of Wood First Edition. Cost then, when I bought it, was about 85 euros for the bottle. It was 50% ABV, natural color, non-chill filter, a mixture with 50% malted barley and 50% unmalted barley, virgin American oak, and another oak that's not really normally used. They call it the gin carbon American oak that they are using for this maturation. On the nose, and that is something that I really liked about this one, it what had this absolutely awesome nose. You get that sweet caramel notes. You get that little bit of an English toffee note. You get a hint of a furniture polish note, a sweet furniture polish. You get a nice woody oaky note. And then you also get that alcohol, that high ABV. It's really punch you in the in the nose. Um, loads and loads of that alcohol, fresh alcohol notes that comes out. Not a complex whiskey but for me it is just a friendly inviting fresh whiskey on the taste smooth as silk <laughs> i know a lot of people would say we don't talk about whiskey as smooth this one is smooth as silk it's a, that oily it's a little bit of a pleasant note butterscotch caramel toffee english toffee a little fudgy note oily creamy absolutely fantastic on the taste something that i would recommend if you get a bottle like that give it a try the next one that i have that i also tasted and i really enjoyed and a lot of people will laugh at this one but for me i don't care it's about the taste do i enjoy it is it something that i can afford and um for that reason, I picked this one as well, and it's called Dingle Batch Number no. Six. It was, if I remember correctly, 46.5% ABV, natural color, non-chill filter. I think I paid 70 euros for the bottle, so not very cheap. Uh, I might add, matured in Tony Port Gas, of course, natural color and non-chill filtered so ticking all the right boxes for me taste wise nose wise lovely whiskey uh, only thing that you should be aware of it does have a little bit of an old tire air rubber note when you first open that bottle there's a little bit of that funkiness coming out but rest assured it's not overpowering it's just that in the back you'll find what is that and it smells for me rubber gloves or maybe an old uh, car tire air not always perfect but this one it really works for me quite a sweet whiskey the sherry influence is quite strong on this one definitely um, this is a whiskey for the 
sweet whiskey lover. A little bit of a vanilla coming through, a little bit of a perfumey note, well balanced between the sweetness and a little bit of that oakiness that comes through. You get a little bit of a whiny note, a little bit of a raisins coming out. There's also a little bit of a dates, a little bit of a figs, a little bit of a Christmas cake feel, even a little bit of a strawberry jam note on the nose. And that strawberry jam note also went through in the taste for me as well. There's a little bit of a spicy note and I also get a little bit of a pickled ginger you know, with the um, Japanese food, that little pickled ginger that they give, I get a hint of that in the background. A little sweet ginger pickle note. On the taste, that strawberry jam definitely coming out. I get a little bit of a hint of an oak, so there is a, a little bit of a tannin coming through. Sweet, definitely sherry, a little bit of it raisins coming through. Definitely not a complex one. There's a little bit of a peppery, spicy note in the end. Um, a little bit of a Christmas cake in a glass for me. So quite a pleasant one. So I'm not sure a lot of people will agree, but I enjoy that one. The next one on this list for me, the green spot. Now, I do like this green spot. Unfortunately, the only thing that I did not really like, it's the 40% ABV. I would have loved to try it a little bit higher. It is a single pot still Irish whiskey, triple distilled, of course. Um, but yeah, and when I come down to the 40%, but I just want to make sure and just give it a, a wee ball. And for me, oh, that's nice. It reminds me so much of the uh, compass box, the orchard house, but a little less of that fruitiness, a little bit more restraint on the fruity flavors. But it is so nice and inviting. That's it. A little funky, musty note that come out. Sweet apples, a sweet pear, a little bit of an Asian pear. There's a, a creamy note in it. Fruit salad, even a hint of a, a lightly toasted bread. A little sherry note that the raisins coming through. F a little figgy note. A little hint of a cinnamon. A little peachy note, hmm, like a caramelized peach. You know, when you make a nice fire, half the peach, put it on, you get that griddle marks on them with a little bit of a caramel note that comes out, that little burnt sugar note, and a hint of a minty, a little mintiness that comes in. Oh, that's really nice. Taste-wise, of course, fantastic. I would have so like to have it at 46 percent it is a little bit watered down also, also i'm quite used to the high abv whiskey so that alcohol is a, a little let down for me but it's a little bit of a oily creamy mouthfeel to it and it's quite sweet that apples come through that asian pear notes come through let me just make sure a little bit of a, a sherry note little sherry sweetness, but not, definitely not a very sweet whiskey. Mm. I really like this one. So that for me is also one of the nicer ones. I know there is the, the yellow spot and the gold spot and all the spots that's available. I think there's even a red spot. I haven't tried them, mm. but this one is really fantastic for me. Then of course it, it's, it's not always straightforward and easy. I did have a discussion on this, uh, the next one, the Red Brace um, Single Pot Still, the Lestau. This one is bottled, I think, 46% ABV, so I did up the level a little bit. When I opened up this bottle, I was not impressed with it. I really didn't like it. Well, I, I was okay with it, but I struggled with this one. And the struggle was kind of real. Now, um, 
when I started thinking about this video and which ones I want to add in, I did pour myself a weed ram, nice color to it. And, um, and I must admit, with that oxidization, the level is about here now. So quite uh, well, half of the bottle is gone. And for me, it completely changed. It is so nice and inviting and sweet. Loads and loads of vanilla. That's like a vat of vanilla. A little that caramel note, a little bit of a butterscotch note. And on the nose, it completely changed for me. And, um, and of course, on the taste, sweet. Um, all that raisiny notes come through. That sweetness, that dried fruit notes. I get um, quite a lot of vanilla on the taste as well. And I get quite a lot of um, orange note, like an orange peel or orange peel oil on the taste. But really, um, I have to retract my words. <laughs> this little stinker, um, this definitely turned into something that I really enjoyed. Let me just give it one more try. Give it some time. If you, uh, if you didn't like it in, uh, when you open up that bottle, with that time, uh, this is quite a long time. I think this is close to two years that it's been open. Mm, really mellowed out, smooth as silk. Absolutely fantastic one. The next one, but I was not sure if I want to add. Um, and of course, this is the Rowan Co. And all of these whiskies, I did make the uh, video already on it. So if you want to go have a look and see what it's all about and look at the full review, you're more than welcome. So the Rowan Co. for me, um, I'm not 100% convinced. The, maybe I should just pour a little bit more. The aromas that come out, it's 45% ABV. It's a blended Irish whiskey. Love the bottle. I love these little stumpy bottles. But the, the nose for me, it's very subdued. It's like it's hiding somewhere in the glass. And if you give it a little bit of time, that sweetness come out, a little bit of a chocolatey note that comes out, that raisiny notes, dried fruit notes. But then there's a little bit of alcohol that um, more like an ethanol -y young alcohol taste wise but taste wise oh my word this is a dangerous one 45 percent abv um it's going to be quite a dangerous it's like it's you drinking water a nice flavored water a little bit of an oiliness nothing complex a real nice Fresh, a little bit of an apple note. Hmm, dangerous one. So definitely that one. And then I had a, it's a toss up between that. And of course, there's a little staple food for many people. Uh, Jameson. I, this one I opened by accident. I wanted to actually keep it for a couple of years the normal Jameson and I wanted to do a little comparison maybe later on to see um, the differences does it change over time and um, but yeah I, I was so stupid I just grabbed the bottle covered with dust and I just twisted it and realized it was still closed and I forgot that I wanted to keep it and um, for me this is just a you know when you go to any pub anywhere in the world and there will be a Jameson on the floor. That fresh apple notes is a whiskey that I do enjoy. And this Jameson, that freshness is there, that sweetness is there. 
oh my word, and such a drinkable whiskey. This one also bottled at 40% ABV. So again, there's a choice in Jameson. This one has got a little bit of a, a funkiness to it. I'm not sure if it's been standing too long. But not a lot on the nose, but on the taste, perfect for my uh, palate. Let me just give it one more try. Just a lovely one. And, um, and I was not sure which one else can be part of this. And I must admit, two of them stood out. The Castmates um, IPA, this one, and of course the Stout Edition. And um, I was not so sure about the Stout Edition. Um, I'm not always a big fan of st the Stout. Um, some Stouts can be fantastic. Some of them can be quite uh, bitter to it. But the stout one, oh my word, there's a, a big coffee note to it, dark chocolate note, sweet, raisins, vanilla, but definitely I get that stoutiness. I can close my eyes, it's, I smell like a morning cup of coffee, mm, really nice. And taste-wise, oh my word, it is so drinkable. So, oh, one more try. So for me, that is my list of my five favorite Irish whiskies, plus a little bit of an in-betweens. Um, let me know in the comment, what do you think? There is so many Irish whiskies out there. Um, which one is your favorite Irish whiskey? Do you like the ones that I've picked out for my favorite? Let me know in the comment. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe. And I see you next time. And I'm going to have to drink all of these glasses that I bought. Cheers.